Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you the page template function in OneNote for Windows 10. So as you can as you'll see, this feature is pretty limited right now. So I do have a couple of workarounds that I hope you will find useful. The last video I posted was a tutorial on how to use templates in OneNote 2016. The template feature in OneNote 2016 is much more robust than it is right now in OneNote for Windows 10, but it's still worth looking at the Windows 10 version. If you want to see the OneNote 2016 templates video, it'll be linked in the description below. So just in case you're not clear about the two versions we're talking about, Windows PC users have two versions of OneNote that they can choose from right now. OneNote 2016 is the older version, but Microsoft recently announced that we would have more time to use it than originally thought. OneNote for Windows 10 is the newer version, but some of the features that people really love in OneNote 2016 have not yet been added to the newer version. So some people really do still prefer OneNote 2016. So I'm going to show you three topics in this video. The first thing is the template feature in OneNote for Windows 10. Then I'm going to show you a workaround that you can use until the template feature in OneNote for Windows 10 gets expanded. Um, and if that in fact happens, we're not sure that it's going to happen. And then the final thing is I'm going to show you how you can still use some of the beautiful and useful templates from OneNote 2016 while using OneNote for Windows 10. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different version or device. So let's get started with the first item and take a look at the template feature in OneNote for Windows 10. If you don't see this feature while using OneNote for Windows 10, take a look at your version, the version of OneNote for Windows 10, and make sure that you're using the most updated version. Sometimes you have to update to get a new feature, and I only got this feature myself fairly recently, like sometime within the last few weeks or months. So uh, OneNote for Windows 10 allows you to save any page that you create as a default template for the section you're in. What that means is that any new page you add in this section will have the template you just designated. Let me show you how this works. So this is a sample template I made, um, and it just has a couple of different elements. There's a list, uh, this is a to-do list, and then this is kind of a visual element. So if I wanted this to be the default template for this section, I'm going to, um, I'm over here on my page list, and I'm over the page name and I'm going to right click and down here uh, in the lower half of this menu we have set as default template for this section so I'm going to select that. Now nothing has changed that we can see but behind the scenes OneNote knows that you want this page to be your template when you add a new page in this section. So let's add a page and see what happens. I'm over here in my page list I'm going to go down to the bottom and click add page. Um, I have this set so that the new page came in at the top, but you can see that there's a second copy of this exact sample template one. Down here, second from the bottom, that's where we set the default template, and when I clicked Add Page, it added it in up here. So that's how setting a default template works. Anytime I add a page in this section, it will have this template. This is definitely a useful feature. But unfortunately, that's about it for the template function in OneNote for Windows 10 as of now. Hopefully, there will be some more functionality added in the future, but we'll see. In the meantime, let's move on to the second topic of this video, which is a workaround you can use in case there are no additional features added to the template function in OneNote for Windows 10. So this is a second sample template that I created, and we just looked at setting a default template in OneNote for Windows 10, and that allows you to select a single default template for a whole section. But what if you have five or six or even more templates that you regularly use that you want to keep? Um, if you do like to work from templates, there's a simple workaround that you can do, which is to save a blank copy of any page that you want to keep as a template. Whenever you need that page, you just create a new copy of the page. I'll show you how that works. So I'm over here in my page list, and I'm on top of the page name for sample template 2. I'm going to right click, and then we have move or copy. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to keep it right within this same section, and I'm going to click copy. 
And so now we have a second copy of this page. And if you wanted to create this copy in a different section, you could do that as well. So that's kind of a workaround for if you have a template that you want to use that doesn't want, you don't want to set it as the default. Um, if you do this a lot, like either because you do this frequently where you create a new blank page or you have a lot of different templates, you may find it helpful to create a section in one of your notebooks that has all your blanks in it. I do this myself and it makes it really easy just to go to that section and find the blank page that I need. So the final topic of this video is to show you how you can make use of templates from OneNote 2016 while you're using OneNote for Windows 10. In a nutshell, you can create a blank of any of the templates from OneNote 2016 that you like. They'll show up just fine in OneNote for Windows 10, including when you use either of the tips we just talked about, and that would be setting that page as a default template for a section or saving a blank and then creating a new copy every time you need it. Let me show you how that works. So right now we are in my demo notebook. We're in a section called OneNote Windows 10 Templates. At the bottom of my screen here, you'll see I have two OneNote icons. And so I'm going to go over to OneNote 2016. And you can see that actually the pages we added and stuff, that just synced up really quickly. So I am going to um, add a template here from by clicking Insert, Page Templates. Click on Page Templates. And if you want to see this process, um, again, go to that other video that has a detailed tutorial on how to use templates in OneNote for 2016. So I'm going to click Decorative, and the one I want is called Paper. So I'm just scrolling down. Uh, there it is. So it just added a new blank page called Paper. And there it is. I'm going to go back to my... Um, this is the same notebook, same section in OneNote for Windows 10. And you can see it's going to take a second to sync up. That is That was real time. I didn't edit anything out there. That Just that quickly it synced up. And this page with the paper template shows up. And you can see it looks just fine. And uh, we can do either of the things I just showed you, which is to set this as the default template or to create a blank copy whenever I need it. So let's just go through those really quickly. I'm hovering over the name of this page here in my page list. I'm going to right click and do set as default template. Now it's going to ask me, this action is going to remove the current default template. Are you sure you want to do this? And so yes, I do. Um, and then I'm going to click add page. And you can see that up here at the top, it created another copy of this. The second technique we talked about is just saving this as a blank and creating a copy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. I'm hovering over the page name in my page list. I'm going to right click, click move or copy. And for this one, I'm going to keep it in the same section we're in. But again, you could pick a different section or notebook. And I'm going to copy it. So now we have two copies of this. That's it. That's how templates are currently working in note for Windows 10. You can see at the moment that the template function is kind of much more limited than it is in OneNote 2016, but hopefully these workarounds I've given you will help you to use templates more effectively until the template feature in OneNote for Windows 10 is expanded, and if that in fact happens. We don't know if it will or not. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button, and I would love it if you would subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye!